so hi everyone this is ECU boot and for today's videos we're gonna show you a problem that happens on this Mercedes C230 W203 as you can see when the engine is in idle positions there's a lot of vibrations so with that being said let's go ahead and diagnose this car together so first of all let's take a quick scan to see what's happening I've already connected the car with thing tune diagnostic tool let's read the full code So it's clear to see that we're having misfires and especially on cylinder one. So I think this is the main problem resulted the shaking on our engines. Before fixing our problems, let's take a look at the block diagram where it demonstrates how the engine is operated. I've had a video in general on what causes misfire and how to check them so you can watch it at our playlist. The link will be in the descriptions. And with that being said, I will go straight into our problems. As you can see, this 272 engine has 6 ignition coils as well as 6 injectors. Moreover, it also has a crankshaft position sensor B70 and 4 camshaft position sensor on both sides of the engines due to V6 layout. Well, there are plenty of reasons for misfire to occur on cylinder 1 such as the injectors, the ignition coils and spark plugs, or maybe the pressure leakage through piston ring. On the electrical side, we have to check if there's any signal coming out of our ECM N3-10 to this component. So this might be the reason resulted the misfire on cylinder 1 and we have to check them sequentially. So firstly, we're gonna check the injectors. This 272 engine has 6 solenoid injectors that spray indirectly into the intake manifold. So let's take a look at the wiring diagram. It has two wires, one for the signal and one for power. For your information, this injector can spray with the pressure within 3 to 6 kilograms. And secondly is our ignition coils. We also have 6 of them. Normally, we can swap it with other cylinder, but in this case, we have to check the electrical first. It has 4 pins at the plug. The first pin is voltage supply. The second and third are vehicle mass and engine ground and the fourth pins is actuator from control unit. I will show you the diagram. Like I said, the first wires is power, the second and third wires are ground and the last one is signal coming out of the ECM to control the compression. So after the electrical is having no problem, then we go ahead to check the mechanical and off camera. I've checked the power and it's still good. Now, I've already wrapped the wire to receive the control signal that our ECM sends to the injector. For a better view, I measure both cylinder 1 and 2 to see if there are any differences. As you can see, the red line is the control signal to cylinder 1 and it looks exactly like the others on cylinder 2. So we can assume that there is signal coming out from our ECM. So now let's move on to ignition coils from the front of the engines. This is cylinder 1, 2, 3 and here is 4, 5 and 6. Since we're having problem at cylinder 1, so we're gonna measure it. Firstly, we will have to check the power of this coil using DC voltage scale on our multimeters. The power switch must be turned on to do this. I have already propped the, the electrical wire to the VOM. As you can see, there is 12 volts on the VOM, which means power is present. Now, we will check the ground to this ignition coil using continuity on our VOM. You will need to turn off the ignition and wait for 2-3 to three minutes. As you can hear the continuity beeping sound, which means this coil ground is good. So lastly, we will need to use the oscilloscope to receive the signal that our ECM sends to the ignition coil. I will check both of the coils for you to see the differences. And evidently, there is still signal from the ECM to control this component. Now, I can conclude that we're not having any problem with our electrical. With that being said, 
Let's go ahead and check out mechanical parts. The easiest method is to change our ignition coil and spark plug. You can either replace it with a new one or swap it with other engines. I'm having a brand new coil here so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. After the replacement, we have to clear the full coat and check the live data related to the misfire behavior. The fault counter will calculate every time if there are misfires in any cylinder. So let's turn on the V engines and have a look. And surprisingly, there's no vibration on our engines anymore. After replacing the ignition coil on cylinder 1, there's no full coat on our scanner and even the fault counter is not counting anything at this point i can say that our problem has been solved so in conclusions there's a malfunction ignition coil on cylinder one resulted the vibration without 272 engines on the mercedes c230 w203 after replacing the faulty component the problem has been fixed and therefore our engine is working properly if you have any difficulties don't hesitate to contact us we are really looking forward to help you with your issues. We really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.